This is the Outside Film Festival for Mountain Film and Telluride. I'm here with Ben Stokesbury and Chris Korbulik, a few of my fellow First Ascent team athletes. They're here at Mountain Film to show their film, Kondoma. Tell me a little bit about the film. Well, Kondoma is a documentary of a 3,000 mile kayaking expedition that we embarked on uh, this past fall into the heart of the Congo Basin. Um, and unfortunately, that expedition ended in uh, the tragic loss of our guide, Henry Kutsia. But along the way, Henry shared with us uh, a portion of Africa that's seldom seen by the outside world. And uh, you know, a sense of, of remote places and a sense of exploration that, um, um, that I've never seen before. And uh, we were happy to put that together and, and share it in, in the film Kodoma. So a lot of people would argue in this modern age of exploration that there's a reason why certain things haven't been explored, haven't been tested or tried. So what were some of the inherent risks that, that you knew that you were getting into and heading over there? Um, well, I think, uh, you know, s certainly the wildlife danger is very well documented in Africa and it was something that was on all of our minds going into the trip. Um, and also the, the, uh, the political situation in Africa can be extremely volatile. So, you know, on top of these dangers that we negotiate almost on a day-to-day -day basis on any river, anywhere in the world, uh, we had this extra layer of complication due to just these uh, endemic dangers of Africa. I think that these first-hand experiences from, from places that, that people seldom see are, um, are they're really important messages to bring back home to our friends, families, and peers in terms of you know, what's it actually like in the Congo? What's it like in Colombia? You know, what are the people actually like in Pakistan? Just to be able to relate these stories of uh, first-hand encounters, I think, is, is very precious in a world where um, I think we tend to focus a lot on maybe the things that go wrong as opposed to the things that are, that are going right. What pushed you guys to go ahead and finish the film? We embarked on this journey, Hendry, Chris, and I, um, wanting to bring back images or wanting to bring back a story that was the original intent and um, at the end of the day that's exactly what we did it became an important part of the story and it became important for us to um, to do it as a as a tribute to Hendry and to to honor his his wishes for us to um, to share this part of Africa with with the outside world yeah, he was, he was really concerned about making a film and he wanted to be very responsible in, in the kind of story that came out of it, you know, the kind of images, the words, and, uh, and everything that we would bring back. And the last thing that he wanted was for it to be this, this hype, this egocentric, um, inflated story. And, um, you know, I think at the end of the day, what we did bring back and this film that Ben, ben put together is, uh, is just this perfect tribute. And it's, um, you know, it really it tells a lot of Henry's story and, and shows that he was this amazing person. So this was obviously a very difficult film to put together. What do you hope the audience takes away? What's the message? I think that uh, Henry Cotillo was such a special individual and had so much to teach you know both Chris and I along the way and Chris and I learned so much from him and um, I really hope that you know the audience here at Mountain Film and, it, and uh, anyone who sees this film uh, is able to take take away some some of those uh, uh, nuggets of wisdom from from Mr. Kutsia because um, yeah, he was, in a, he was in an extremely special place in his life and in an extremely special place geographically to, uh, to share some things that, um, that, are, that are pretty unique in this world. Well, thank you for your time, guys. Congratulations, and here's Kodoma. Well, the thing is nobody's told us that we can't do it.
Except for one little peon soldier. So we sent Ben off this morning at 5.30 to come and make sure that we have a nice put in. We walk in, that there's no, as little drama as possible. Of course, stop, 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 stop. Of course, the true fashion, Ben's buckle to be seen. We're being followed by a hundred people. pretty much blew our attempt to get to the river in low profile fashion. We'll just see if we can even put on this thing. We're not there yet, but it's some of the most incredible looking white water. How are you? What do you think? What do I think? Should we give it a shot? Just go nice and slow if anybody tells us to turn around and turn around. Does that, does that sound good? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's get the show on the road. Kendry was pretty pissed off about it. He was ready to bag the whole thing. Listen to that, I said. These people have been waiting their whole lives for this. And just like that, we made a move downstream. show you all the people that are hanging out with me while I'm filming it. It's really nice people. On one side, the Rwandans cheered us on and even helped with portages. On the other side, Congolese ran down the bank and whooped with excitement. Everyone there that day will never live another like that. We shared a pure connection to a river with people we didn't share a single word with. Side of the mountain. Okay, so we're at the last rapid. It's uh, it's way too big for us, so um, we really can't risk it. Uh, everything has gone great. We had a beautiful time. I think everyone's super stoked. We took the chance, but right now we're just going to do the do the safe thing. Walk up this hill, pay someone a dollar to carry my kayak. Hopefully, we walk away from this with just good memories. And remember, kids. Don't cross international borders at home.